Hello and welcome back to Drama Investigator. Before we get into today's video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I post the tea. Jaclyn Hill's fans are getting hacked, allegedly, after she told her fans to do something stupid. She went on her Instagram story and had basically told her fans to send her their numbers and she would FaceTime some of them for her new YouTube video and get ready with her fans. This is what she'd said. Hey guys, don't mind, I know aggressive and it's been there for a long time and it came with a friend it's a package deal i'm just embracing it but i'm about to film a video that i'm so excited about because i'm going to do my makeup on camera and get ready with you guys but i'm gonna be facetiming my subscribers while i do it so if you guys want me to facetime you respond to this right now send me your number there's a chance that I will be reaching out to you in the next couple of hours. I'm so excited about this because I just love me and my fans and interacting with them so much. Like you have no idea. And I don't know why I've never thought about doing this before. And I'm like, what the? So I can't wait. I'm super excited. So keep in mind that your face will be on my video. So you have to make sure that you're okay with that. If you're not, when I call you, just tell me. I don't want to be in the video. And I'll be like, okay, got it. And I'll make sure that we cut that. But yeah, so respond to this. Send me your numbers. And I can't wait to talk to you guys. Also, quickly on a side note, I know that a lot of people are wondering where I've been and what's going on. And I know that I tweeted and I posted on here how my life has been totally changed and totally uprooted and things are just insane. I filmed a video on it last week, but you guys not to get into my personal life too deep, but there is so much going on right now with my friends and family. And I hate to be that person that's like, it's awful, send prayers. But like, it's been really, 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 really bad the past couple of weeks. Just everyone in my family is really taking a hit right now in a lot of different ways. And it's just, it sucked. And there was a very big technical issue with my video and I had to send it to Tampa so that my editor could take care of it. I thought I could, but I had no idea how. I'm not skilled like that with this new program that he's using. So he is editing it right now and it should be up within 48 hours. So I apologize for that delay. I know it's like, it's always something. Life is crazy. Life is crazy, but I'm embracing it and just taking it day by day, moment by moment. So not long after she had told her fans to do this, she had taken to her Twitter stating, I am not texting people. If you receive a text from me, it's not me. So first of all, if a random gets hold of your number, you can get hacked. If you have a banking app on your phone, your bank account can then get hacked, all of your data can get hacked, and your phone itself can get tapped. And that can be very dangerous for a number of reasons. So she pretty much signed her fans up to fail big time and get scammed once again. Oh, out here putting her fans in danger. First the lipsticks, now their phone's getting hacked and scammers allegedly calling them. I mean, of course they're going to tweet out their private numbers to her without thinking. I mean, who wouldn't? It's Jaclyn Hill, right? So not many people know the dangers surrounding publishing their private numbers online. I just can't believe that she didn't state to private message their numbers to her. She just said, send it to me on Twitter. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's a huge uproar in the next couple of days surrounding that. Super dodgy. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. So Trisha Pasta recently uploaded a video that had everyone shook. She had titled the video, I am transgender, female to male, with a pic of her dressed up as Troy Bolton from her high school musical remake music video. This video got 1.2 million views and damn, that like to dislike ratio. So basically there were many things she said in this video that made people question whether this video was just clickbait for views or her being disrespectful to the LGBTQ plus community. Here is a list that someone made of all the wrong things she had said within this video. I identify as a boy because I don't like to be the centre of attention. I'm transgender because I don't wear makeup or do my hair in my day to day life. I've always been attracted to gay men which is why I think I am a gay man. I'm a gay man because I hate over masculine energy. I am transgender because I wish I had a so that my assertiveness would be respected and I wouldn't be thought of as a bitch. I choose to identify as a boy. You can choose to identify as a boy some days and a girl some days. I'm transgender because I've always hated my name. I'm transgender because I love having short hair. You can identify as both genders if you choose to. I'm a gay man because I hate attention for straight men. Gay men admire and respect women and straight men don't. Gay men are sensitive and sweet and straight men aren't. I don't identify as a woman because I'm not catty or competitive. One day I might shave all my hair off to prove that I'm a male. You can be any gender you choose on any given day. Now, so many influencers and fans were responding to this video negatively. Patrick Starr had said, are you stupid? Being trans is not a costume. Just because I wear a wig and lashes does not make me a woman for the time that I play dress up. 
apologize now. I'm so sorry for my last tweet, but I'm not going to tolerate disrespect to the trans community. I sent a DM. Let's see what happens. The top comments on her video stated, Trisha, they, them pronouns are confusing. Also Trisha, also I identify as a gay man. I don't like being the center of attention. I'm screaming. She says something about being attracted to gay guys. James Charles, hold my sister beer. Trish, I'm lazy. Trish, so I'm trans. Where's Shane Dawson? He needs to intervene. Now Blair White had taken to her Instagram story to say that she was basically going to either drag or help Trisha Pasta in a video that she was uploading. Hey guys, so I'm about to film a highly requested video and girl, I'm in a bit of a weird position filming this video because I don't really know if I should drag this person or try to help this person or like what is actually what's the move so everyone is completely up in flames over Trisha making this video claiming that she's transgender do you think Trisha is faking being transgender for clout slash to be controversial let me know in the comments Trisha has since posted an apology video and just something I noticed she'd posted this video six hours ago but she was wearing that same outfit in her Instagram story the day prior so I'm just a bit confused maybe she's wearing the same outfit or maybe the video was pre-filmed. It's just something that I noticed. So basically to save you 18 minutes and 57 seconds of your life, she didn't come to a conclusion. She apologized for offending anyone and she said she doesn't believe she has an identity. So in more news, Jeffree Star took to his Instagram story today to talk about his struggles with losing two of his doggies in such a short period of time. And he also discussed his new documentary series. He said that he's not lying at all about anything him and Shane have investigated and that some people just can't handle the truth here's what he had to say hello everybody how are we doing um i can't believe we're already into tuesday the week's rolling <sighs> i have one piece of advice if you are struggling with anything whether it's personal financial family stuff things at work um, if you feel really hopeless, if you're experiencing hopelessness, if you are having a hard time getting up in the morning, bitch, that's normal. And don't let anyone else tell you that your feelings aren't okay or try to invalidate what you're going through because we all have different struggles and sometimes we forget that. Sometimes people are afraid to be really brutally honest and I'm someone who just lets it all out and 2019 has been one of the craziest and most trying for me personally, but the best for business. And it's like so many life lessons and um, I don't take for granted anything. I never have and I never will. And they, these last four months have been so so trying and some of the most difficult I have ever experienced, but we have to not let it consume us. And that's, I think, been my problem in the past, is how do you find the happiness through all the darkness? That's the biggest question. For me, it's been so hard in the mornings. Me and Nathan have been so, just our lives turned upside down. Um, every routine, everything we do is different. You know, it's like waking up and feeding four dogs and not six was so traumatizing the first time around, like with Diamond and now removing two bowls and only having four. Like it's all these things, letting them outside, the sounds of their barks not being there. Like it's fucking rough. And I think that sometimes people are afraid to say that it's rough, but it is. We're all going through different shit and bitch, it's fucking rough right now. Um, so if you're going through something else right now, all I wanted to do is share that you're not alone. And that's how I feel right now. And if you're going through it right now, I get it. And um, uh, there are, just quick side note, I know there are so many of you that have questions, that have a lot of comments about episode two, the secrets of the beauty world. I'm sorry I haven't chimed in yet. Um, I've been on Twitter the last hour trying to answer some questions because I know so many of you have so much feedback, a lot to say. There were a lot of truths revealed, so many things uncovered and the industry is shook. Like, <laughs> I know I haven't uploaded in a few weeks, 
Please know I will be back. I just really need this time right now and I can't imagine sitting down and filming a video this week. Um, I really can't, but a lot of shit is happening behind the scenes. Brand owners getting crazy. People shook that we're revealing things. People questioning our numbers. Like maybe everything is 100% authentic. And I know that's why people are scared. But we made this docu-series to really unveil and pull the curtain out. But this beauty world is stale. It's time to shake things up and I'm willing to take that risk. A lot of people don't. They don't want to deal with it. They don't want to deal with any type of thing that comes with exposing things, telling the truth. A lot of people get nervous. A lot of people are on edge. And it just feels right. It's time. And I think unless you have the balls, something like this maybe is not for them, right? But I think that it's necessary. And if people are scared, that means you're on the right path to something. So the makeup world is about to be revolutionized once again, and a lot more will be revealed. So just thank you to everyone who's watched so far. We're only two episodes in. Like, can you imagine we have like seven or eight more? Like, hi. What are your thoughts on all this drama? Let me know in the comments. That's all for this investigation. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. My social media will be linked down below and I'll see you guys in our next investigation.